All right, finally I get to make this video. If you clicked on this, you're either interested in some UVB results um, for a couple of bulbs in a couple of tanks, or you're interested in the Critter Condo, one of the larger tanks that you can buy for a bearded dragon or whatever else. Um, so, right to the point here, this is the old tank. And as you can see, normal rectangular I put the I put the measuring tape in the bottom I want you to see this this is a 40 gallon tank and if you stick a, a measuring tape in there and actually measure the inside the livable space um, you can see these aren't these aren't big 40 gallon is not big I didn't even upgrade to a bigger tank because of the size of the tank because to be fair once you figure out lighting and heat for a reptile and the reptile seems happy even if the tank is a little bit small if you take the reptile out take them outside let them go explore they might be fine I, I was told by a lot of I'd say experts I mean not herpetologists those are hard to come by but experts that have done reptile rescues and who work in the the not the big chain pet stores but the ones that specialize they said, you know, you can get a bigger tank, but it is going to be really hard to keep it warm enough um, to make sure you've got the UVB proper, you know, for the reptile. It, it's just trickier, so be prepared. But for right now, this is this is the reason that I upgraded. So six, let's see, 15 inches inside. Now I'm going to back up a little bit. The uh, the UVB, you got to make sure the wattage on the fixture and the bulb is close. It doesn't have to be exact, but the wattage on the fixture really needs to be the same or a little bit more than the bulb. My husband is, um, he's got an electrician's license, so he can tell me that. Um, sorry for the reflection on the glass. So that was a black light fixture, and I'm not gonna link anything to that on Amazon. Um, unless somebody wants the link, I'll, I'll provide it, but um, the tricky part is, this is a T8 fixture, and granted, it's it's this bulb, okay, one of the bulbs recommended, I, Reptison is not bad, the problem is, the T8s just don't put out much, and the way I had this set up, like right here where my hand is, was where I had my bearded dragon's hammock, he spent the most time right there. Also, I will link to this, because this is crucial. Although, if you get the exact same setup as I get, you won't need one of these, maybe. But, this is the solar meter, let's see, 6.5R, I believe. But I'll put the, the link in the description. You'll know exactly. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this light on, and I'm going to show you what the UVB Ferguson Zone, let's see. Alright, it's not even coming on. Um, but that's the one thing about this particular meter. Oh, it wasn't plugged in. This particular meter shows you the zone. It does the calculation for you. You can get the other one if you want to do the calculation. It was really hard to find the right numbers for the other solar meter. So, I waited for this one to be in stock. Um, okay, so now it's on. So, the hammock was about right here. So we've got, you see that, 1.0, let's move a little closer to the bulb, 3.5, okay, the range is like 3 to 7 for Bearded Dragon, and he would usually spend his time up here in this, here we go, <laughs> he would spend his time kind of up close to the bulb right there. And I realize why they know. They know exactly if they're getting the UVB or not, which is amazing to me because he spent several weeks in his hide. I couldn't figure out what in the world was wrong. He didn't seem sick. I kept everything warm enough. He was happy. Um, but when I changed his bulb, he was honestly acting like he couldn't see. He was looking above and below his hammock over and over and then reaching out like he was trying to touch it like he couldn't see. I thought, okay, something's up with the lighting. I'm going to change the bulb. What I'm going to do 
right now. I'll, I'll pause the video, but I'm going to change this bulb out with the other Reptisun 10.0 bulb that I have, and I'm going to show you the difference, because one was old, one was new. One was about six months old. One was uh, brand new, so he was in this one maybe a month. So after a month, we got 3.0, like, right next to the bulb. So this is... Okay, 6.0 right next to it, about four inches away. And then where his hammock was, 2.6. If he was over here at this end looking out the window, he wasn't getting anything. So I'm going to change out the bulb, and we'll see what it was with the, with the old bulb. Okay, so I've changed out to the old bulb, and... I'm glad I saved it. I saved it because I knew I was going to order one of these. And I was really curious. What was it getting? About where his hammock was. 2.9. 1.8. 2.6. Okay, so right next to it again. Okay, this one's a little stronger. I might have gotten them mixed up. They do degrade over time. But what happened was I changed out the bulb, and he came right out. I mean, within 30 seconds of changing the bulb, he came out, jumped up on his hammock, no problem, he could see. It was pretty wild. Um, this one does seem brighter. I think I, I must have gotten it mixed up when I traded the tank. But even still, look at this about where his hammock was. 2.7, that's not even in the range that he needed. And if he was all, all the way up against the glass, which he would sit because I had a window on this side, 1.8. Up here, let's see, 3.3. He was never within 3 inches of it. But, you know, it's a small tank, 40 gallon. And people say the T5 fixtures um, are not good because they're too strong uh, for inside these tanks. But I'm about to, to go to my other... The new tank and show you that and we'll do some measurements in there and you can decide you know the fixture matters you needed a reflector this one does have a reflector came with a black light but it does have a reflector even with that you know if he was anywhere else in his tank other than on the side of his hammock near the bulb he wasn't getting enough and really the three point anything is at the bottom of the range for them um, so anyway Reptisun is not a bad brand but they're learning that the T8s simply do not put out enough um, UVB. They just don't. Um, so I don't know who would have that in what tank, maybe for another animal. But they're, they're learning. It, it's a long process uh, to figure all that stuff out. And to be fair, you want to put the sunshine in a bulb? That's pretty amazing. They're working on it. They'll get it. So I'm going to go to the other tank now, and we're going to do some measurements there. It's a pretty cool tank. You're going to love it. And we're back. Now this is the upgraded tank. Is this not completely fantastic? Look at this. It's four feet by two feet by two feet. If you're not in the US, I'm very sorry, um, but that's what I'm used to. <clears throat> that's pretty big. The reason I chose this one, for one, it was cheaper than the other ones that were this size. And it came with some, the two light fixtures, which was a big deal. And uh, that meant a lot to me. I was able to find a lot of stuff for uh, for the inside. And Murray can now turn around. Look how happy he is. He's orange. Are you orange, buddy? Hello. I love you. I do. That's a good Murray. Okay, we're not going to do that. Um. Okay, back to seriousness. As you can see, this is the basking spot for the moment. This little, this little cave right here. Um, he ended up getting, where's the opening? Oh, there it is. He got too big for it. We actually had to widen the opening with a, a Dremel tool, or maybe it was a circular saw. Uh, but I have a node on top, and I can tell his temperature, the temperature, there it is, right there. Not his temperature. Oh, that's why it went down. It fell. I had it up right next to him. But I finally got uh, the heat lamp. Let's see, I'm going to try to get the reflections out. And the UVB bulb. <laughs> I finally got it right. Um, but as you can see, there's a hide that fits him. He can totally fit in there and be comfortable and come out without getting stuck. He literally got stuck in the other one. 
I have blankets in there around the edges because the black interior was confusing him. Uh, so I gave him those on the edge and I, I got a background in there, which is fantastic. I got a lot of this stuff on Amazon, so I'm going to be able to put you some really convenient links. It took me forever to find all this stuff. Um, and one thing for the, the heat lamp in here, the basking lamp, that's a 75 watt basking bulb. Um, no dome, and it was, I had to get a dimmer. That was the one thing that the literal, actual herpetologist in a, an online group that I'm in uh, recommended. Said, you know, just make sure you get a dimmer for the bulbs so you can get that right, because no two tanks are the same. But this is what he does when he's happy. He lays like that. Earlier he was kind of propped up looking out the window, which is over here. Yeah, we painted the house ourselves, so the window has a smiley face on it. Um, but now it's kind of the end of the day, so he's just relaxed, you know, he tucks his hands underneath his little belly when, uh, when he's about to go to sleep. So we're on the final hour of his day. So I'm going to put this UV, UVB detector in there, but I want to show, if I can, the Critter Condo comes with a, let's see, it's a 24-inch T5 um, tube light fixture. It comes with the ceramic basking bulb fixture, and you decide where those go. And if you see, I might end up moving the basking bulb, because those need to overlap. That's one thing they said. Um, and the tube light has some little clamps, so I was able to slide that all the way over to the edge of the tank. Um, and the foil is because of this, because I could tell... Thankfully, I could see. I could measure something I can't see, which is amazing. Um, without the foil or a fixture you want to buy that has a reflector with it, which, you know, they sell those. Um, I spent so much money on the Critter Condo and this. I, I just, I can't buy a fixture right now, but the foil works great. So I'm going to open this up. He's going to get a little cold. So let's look at this. Where he is, let's say about right here. Look at that, right in the zone. Before I put the foil up there, it was not enough. It was 1.2, it was kind of like the other bulb. And guess where he was all day? Right there. And you can see my previous video when I was talking about stubborn bearded dragon. Um, but I'll tell you something, this is not cheap. But I'll, if you're gonna have an exotic pet, you need to have the right tools. Why have the pet? It's, it's like, why would you have a dog and then feed them cat food? You wouldn't do that because it doesn't have what they need. And what reptiles need, what basking reptiles need, is the UVB. Have to. Yep. Let's see, let's go over where he is. See, he's, he's in the high threes, fours. I might give him a higher spot as well if he wants to get closer. Um, and as soon as I put the foil up there and got it in the right range, he came out of his cave. He was in there over a week. And then finally the UVB meter arrived. I tested it. I fixed it. He came right out. It's just, they know. They do, and look how orange. Hello, pretty boy. Hello, Murray. I love you. Are you smiling? I think you are. I decided he smiles. So that's what I have, and I'm going to put, let's see, I'm going to put links for you. I'm going to put a link to the hide. Extra large is the size you're going to want to get. Um, I'm going to put a link for Pampered Beardies. That's where I got all the little blankets, and you can get a lot of cute little things for dragons in there uh, on that website. And the woman who sells those runs a reptile rescue, and she's on Facebook as well, but you can find that on your own. The messes in here, like the hanging cords, I am going to fix that. Um, but this tank is a really good one. And I'll just show you a few things. I don't want this video to be too terribly long. I put these suction cups on there. The suction cups came with, let's see, hammocks from Pampered Beardies. So that's where I got these really big suction cups. 
Um, but those are the handles. Now the door, now I'm going to make this beautiful at one point. The door, I took a post-it note, folded it up, and I put it up here. So when we walk through the house, it doesn't jar the glass. Um, I got another handle on the door, and I, I bought, I'll put a link up for these too, the black cup hooks. So they kind of blend in, and I had this hammock way too low, so I moved it up, and I suction cupped it to the door. So if you watch, as I open and close the door, <laughs> it goes up and down. But I, I do that. I leave the doors open a little bit because you need some air circulation. Every animal needs that. Um, and if it's a little too hot or a little too cold, I can open these because this janky thing, this is the node on the right side. So that's the cool side in the 70s. And I've got, I'm going to put a link up for the background. I absolutely love that background. I was so impressed with the paper. It's matte finish. It's perfect. I can put a link up for the basking bulbs. And let me see. This is a... Arcadia bulb. Now I also bought and I brought it out here and the other bulb I tested that one that was the same 14% UVB uh, T5 24 watt which fit the fixture. Okay, those need to be the same 22 inch. That's what this tank comes with. I just had to order the bulb Aluminum foil slid underneath it. It's not next to the bulb. It's next to the top and the Zoomed version, Zoomed, yeah, that's how you say that. See, they have a Euromastics on the front. Um, it's a T5, 24 watt, 22 inch. They've got their 10.0 UVB. Um, let's see, there's the front. So that's that, and I'll put a link for that too. Because that one was just fine. Everybody likes Acadia, but that one was just fine because it was available. I had to wait for the Acadia. Um, I'm saying Acadia. Is that right? Arcadia. A-R-C-A-D-I-A. So it's a little bit junky. I've got some wires hanging down. But this is the Critter Condo. And my daughter, who is 13 years old, put it together. And that doesn't mean that it was overly simple. That's been her job since she was little. Whenever we get something and you have to read directions and put it together, that's one way I'm trying to prepare her for life. She puts the stuff together and she earns video game minutes. So that's, um, that's what we do. But I'm so impressed with the Critter Condo. It's cheaper. Um, the ones that you can buy that are, say, four foot by two foot by two foot, that are all glass, and there's there's a company that does those on Amazon. I I decided not to pay a hundred or two hundred extra dollars for the same size tank that's just all glass, which is Murray's used to. I wanted that. However, people said it it was fine, but it wasn't really worth the money. It wasn't quite as sturdy as what they liked, um, and that matters to me. This is tempered glass. Um, so that's the tour of his tank, and you know, if you have questions about this tank and the setup and everything, just let me know. Give me a comment. Uh, if you found this video um, valuable in some way, let me know. Let me know what you got out of it. Give me a like. Um, most of my videos are about homesteading, but this is my side hobby. This is this is my. Uh, my cherished little dragon, Murray. He's uh, over two years old now, and he's doing well. Um, I'm thankful that I saved him from whatever his fate would have held with um, subpar lighting. I I'm starting to think almost all their problems have to do with heat or UVB. So good luck to you, and just don't be afraid of these more expensive products, you know. If you're going to have a pet, take care of it. And I think Amazon started having like a payment program. So if you feel the, the UVB meter is too expensive, um, I think you can make payments on it. And it's, I feel it's worth it. If you have one bearded dragon and you love them, if something happened to that bearded dragon, you know you'd get another one. You know you would. Thank you for watching. And I'm so glad Murray came out of his tank so we can actually say hi, Murray.
see him in action. And plus, I wanted proof that I wanted to test the lights. I wanted to see how he reacted, you know, before I did a video about, hey, why don't you do this UVB thing? But he's been out. He's been loving his hammock. And I think this was a really, really good investment for, for having a bearded dragon. So good luck to you. And check the links below. I'll, I'll put them all there. And just give me some feedback if you have questions. Thank you so much. Bye.